back for part three of this soulmate, searching for this soulmate. Oh God, this thing is just getting, I'm gonna have to hurry up and wrap this one up. Like I was saying with your mom and dad, not everybody was a soulmate connection because we weren't studying astrology. You know, the church had banned us against it, told us it was evil, told us it was wrong. And in actuality, it wasn't. They were studying it all along. And, and now that was keeping us from connecting with our source, with our creators, you know, you know, and it's people are married that are not there. They are married to people that are not their soulmate all because they didn't learn anything or didn't work on those soul contracts that they should have worked on, you know. Oh, that's what I'm looking for. Damn, I'm hitting the wrong button. Uh, I think that's what I'm looking for. So they're married to people that's not even their soulmate right now. But it's not to say y'all can't elevate together. If y'all get on one accord and y'all work on elevating and, and mending the, the contracts and, and, and learning the lesson, then y'all can, you know, get onto that one path, that law of one path. But a lot of people are not even, in fact, with their soulmate. They think they are. They're with karmic relationships and false twin flames that came, you know, before the soulmate even arrived, right? So, and it, and it has something to do with your choices that led you off the path and led you away from that, that straight path that was going to lead you into the soulmate. And that's what you get when you're not, when you don't know your path number, your life number, you don't know your natal chart, your moon chart, you don't know none of that. So then you don't know, you can't recognize your soulmate, you know, because you're not awakened yet. Okay. You're still in that sleep dream state, right? So, you know, I say that to say this with the sacral, uh, when I said the physical, the emotional is the woman and the physical is the man. The light is the man, the dark is the woman. She's the emotion, he's the physical, right? In the physical dysfun dysfunction, as the sacral card says, when you have an imbalance, right? Well, down at the bottom in sacral mental means the sacral and the mental. So in the, what, ovaries and the testes and in the mental, you connect. It says that means communion. So what you're marrying is you're marrying your emotion with your physical. That's the contract of the law of one. That's the contract of the spiritual soulmate reflection, divine union. It wasn't supposed to be a contract as in marriage because you're free to love whoever you want to and you're free to go whenever you want to because you have people to meet but once you get to this level now y'all there for immortality y'all are there you don't do you don't go nowhere but it's when you're not on this level that you gotta go and bounce around to other people because you're trying to complete yourself like the beginning of the first creation because it was only perfect one time and that's why people are running around here loose cannons like dogs in heat and bunnies in heat chasing after sex, but you're you're ta you're chasing with the wrong element, with the wrong uh, uh, dimension. You're not chasing up here. You're chasing down there between your legs. You're growing. You know, so that's that's why you're not finding and connecting with your soulmate, and you're going to be in that constant loop of searching for this soulmate to complete you. That's what this yin yang is about. Completion of the light and the dark, the feminine and the masculine energy. And as long as you're not with your fat, your, your masculine energy, you're going or your, your feminine energy, you're going to continue to chase after it and, and long for it through other interactions. And you're never going to find it because that's not how you find it. You have to deal with it on those contract levels, on those false twin flame levels. And, um, and get to the root, the heart of the matter. And that's why it's heart desire right there. That's why, because of it. And so you can't get to it. Look at there. You can't get to it until you go through the heart. And, and you, but in order to go through the heart, you got to accept responsibility. And once you accept responsibility, the moon goddess, she, she guides you through it. So you can find that, that, that soulmate and you're going to know this person and you're going to feel that connection and that warmth. And you're going to know that's your, that's your moon. That's your, that is your mate. That is your reflection, your mirror image. You'll be different in some aspects, but you'll, you'll, you'll love a lot of things alike. 
And that's the beauty of it because that's the soul part of y'all that's, that's just made it together because of the, the compassion and the communion of it. Now, so when you, uh, let me see. And then the other one was root chakra and the root chakra is the sacral. So that's funny how they pulled the exact colors of this card. The root, the red, the red jasper and the carnelian for the red and the orange in the card. And this is now the card of the root chakra that I made this morning. I'm getting all my little incense dust on it. And uh, it says the root chakra, the elephant is the animal. The, the uh, archetype is the mother earth or the victim. You play the victim. And it says, I am safe and I'm secure. So that's a mantra you can say for your root chakra. And the crystals that you need for your root chakra are hematite. I have a ring in the room and tiger's eye, which I have on. I have a lot of tiger's eye, tiger's eye ring, tiger's eye, and tiger's eye in my, in my Taurus bracelet with my, my Taurus bull on it with uh, clear quartz and tiger's eye and wood. That's the earth elements. And carper, of course, is my earth element. That's why I wear carper a lot. And I have carper rings and stuff because I'm, I'm, a, I'm a Taurus. I'm a Taurus Aries cusper. So my element is carper, right? So, and then bloodstone. And bloodstone looks just like this green moss agate with actual blood, like the earth bleeding, like the sacrifices of Mother Earth taking in our our bodies, our blood, you know. And it, I was like, oh my God, that's so spiritual and it's so symbolic that it's just powerful. And it just makes me just like, oh my God, the depth of it, because I can feel the depth of it right not in a gross way but like that's life so we wonder why there's blood sacrifices and that's why they try to blood sacrifice humans because of it you know to appease her because they like okay if we don't she gonna tear our ass up i don't know why they do it but i'm just saying but you know that's why and look at the colors they picked the exact same colors and that came out on my Facebook live with these cars when I shuffled them they all fell with these four cars and it was just amazing how they all lined up with what cards had came out and I was like whoa I got to turn this into you know more than a TikTok cuz the the cards had spoke to me on TikTok and it was a minute and I said oh no 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 I got to go live this is more than this is this is something else I'm picking up on too many this is too powerful for just one minute well I get on Facebook live and I I'm booted off so I'm booted off before I can save it. So now this is my third attempt of doing, you know, the, uh, I gotta sneeze. I'm, uh, of doing, you know, trying to get this message together and it's hit and miss. And I know I'm hitting and missing because it was perfect the second time I did it on Facebook, but I only had a minute of it to get started on TikTok. But this one is like three parts because now the reception is you know, booting me off the 5G is booting me off because my son's in the studio. So it's too much of the Wi-Fi. So this is like the third part of the message because I can't get straight through to, to, to record it. But uh, I'm going to keep it moving. That's me. I'm not editing my life. You know, this is my life and I'm real and I'm going to be real on Facebook. I'm not faking and shaking. But when y'all want to break those soul contracts and you want to get to, you know, your your command dealing with your command relationships and healing those relationships and uh you know uh learning who those false twin flames are y'all know where to find me you know my page by now all my services will be in the description if you need reiki therapy long distance i can do that too you know for you too i'm a reiki uh master uh i can certify and i can also do long distance reiki as well so you know when you guys are ready i'm here you know, I'm not begging anybody. I'm not, it's nothing. I'm allowing. If anything, you can come when you're ready and when you're when you're when you want to progress and ascend into an ascended master, then you come find me. You know where to find me at. Okay? Because this is about real, you know, we can debate history all 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 the time and and if nobody's teaching you how to break soul contracts which they haven't been, because if you went to the justice of the peace or the the pastor and he didn't read these cards to you to tell you if that was your karmic partner or your soulmate. You you married wrong anyway. His blessing don't even fucking count. You with somebody that ain't even you're not even supposed to be with right now. You know, and I'm not talking about I'm not talking against marriage because y'all can get on one accord. That's not the problem. The problem is they lied. 
And if I'd have known somebody would have told me about I could do this, you know, get a tarot reading and find out if this person was my 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 soulmate or my twin or false or karmic relationship, I could have made a better choice. But because we weren't given the opportunity to choose for ourselves in the right manner, we all made choices that we got all these consequences behind these choices now. But those choices, those consequences and those choice, that choice can be changed anytime you change your thought. You'll change the frequency or the vibration of those consequences. So it's all about if you want to dig into the heart, the desire of the heart and get to the root of who you are and accept that responsibility. And yes, it's going to be painful. It's going to be painful because you're going to have to face yourself. I'm sorry. I had to do it. So you're going to have to do it. It's not pretty. It's not no holier than thou shit. It's nothing like that. This shit is ugly. Healing is ugly. Okay. That's the truth. That's why I said the universe respects the bold, the brave, the beautiful and the motherfucking ugly. And if you want to come across like you're holier than now, then you hadn't faced your ugly in my book. Okay. You're not real with yourself either. That's, that's that superficial fake ass healing like mascara or makeup because healing is nothing short of, 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 of beautiful. It gets beautiful in the end because you forgive that that forgiveness is part of that responsibility accountability ownership and and responsibility so that you can forgive yourself it's not even about forgiving the the, the karmic uh, relationship or the 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 soul contract you're trying to break it's about forgiving yourself because you don't know what you did to that that energy in another lifetime and you don't know what you're going to do to that energy in the next lifetime so you better mend it right now so that way, when you get there at 18, you might be with the soulmate right off the bat. And y'all have a wonderful life. Like I gave the example in the last video of George the Bush's, you know, quote unquote, just for, you know, example. You might get that kind of like 18 year old, you know, fall in love, sweetheart, and y'all live to y'all 90s. And that's all y'all ever know. That's where that comes from. But you have to, you have, all right. You have to get there in order to uh, to do it, right? You have to no, hold on, y'all. And uh, you have to get you have to get there in order to to uh, to um, get to be there. So if you want your next lifetime to be about immortality and being with just your soulmate, baby, you better get on board. You better get on board and fix what you can fix now and elevate as high as you can elevate in the, in the rainbow color, okay? Because that's what's going to get you there. If you stand in the root chakra thinking down there and thinking with your fish or your eyes and how much muscles and how much booty and boobs she got and how much muscle he got, that is, that's superficial. And I guarantee you that's a damn uh, lust and that's a damn false twin flame that you with. That ain't even the real one. That just came across because that just ooh, made you feel some type of hot. And you think that's it? No, -uh, baby, that ain't it. That ain't it. Let's dig and let me find out. I guarantee you I'll find out that ain't it. I guarantee you I will because I'm 99.99% the truth. Okay? And the 11.11% one, one one, one is your great divine. You're going to weigh whether it resonate or it not or if, if I'm telling the truth or you gonna or you gonna be the lie behind the ugly see when I said the universe respects the bold the brave the beautiful and the motherfucking ugly I left it up to you to put whether that ugly was gonna be the lie or the truth that you live so that's up to you I'm just gonna present what energy say present because it's time out for the fakeness it's time to get a facelift going on here, like a real permanent motherfucking facelift, like off with the fucking mascara age, okay? And look at yourself from here and deal with yourself from here. Because this, you can hide all day long the sadness. You can paint that motherfucker away all you fucking want. But underneath here, baby, that shit is hurting like a motherfucker and dying to be set free. And I come to help you free yourself, that's all. But you got to snap the fuck out of it. So I can help you free yourself. Because I can't snap you out of it. I can lead you to kind of waking up. If you you even got to choose to wake up. 
You got to make the choice to say, damn, I need to search for the truth. I need to set responsibility and, and just stop fucking playing. My life's a fucking wreck and I'm tired. It's taxing. When your spirit is not free, when your flesh is not free from that ego, it's taxing, y'all. It's tiring as fuck. So you tell me what's fucking pretty about being fucking tired and y'all wonder why y'all lethargic. You wonder why you're fatigued. Okay, you wonder why you're exhausted mentally, spiritually, and physically, emotionally, psychologically, and fucking economically. You're exhausted. You have nothing in your deposit, your spiritual deposit box. You have no energy. Your energy been sucked the fuck dry out of your ass almost. It's barely a flame lit. The bitch about to go out. It's time to snap the fuck out of it. Now... It's on y'all. I knew the message was deep when I saw them four cards. And I said, y'all only gave four cards? And you gonna give me something like this? Because they know I'm gonna tell the damn truth when it comes. It don't matter if it's one card hit this damn table. It don't matter if it's all the whole goddamn deck. I'll run through that whole motherfucking deck on y'all ass. You better trust that. And shame all these motherfuckers playing around. You ain't teaching nobody shit. Where the fucking wisdom? Where is the guidance of the mother? Where is the guidance of the father? Hmm? Why we ain't free? Why are you doing all this and y'all ain't free? Y'all, what, what? Why y'all doing all these readings and y'all ain't free? Huh? Where is the, where is it at? Where, okay, where? Where's the solution at? You got to get to the solution. You got to get to the solution at some point. And the solution is the soulmate. That's your immortality. Now, whether you care about your immortality or not, baby doll, baby boy, that's your, that's your problem. That's your problem. Get mad, get motherfucking glad too. That's your problem. You need to accept responsibility and you're running from your responsibility. And all it is is your mirror image. Accepting the whole... Six nine of yourself, the whole balance of yourself, the creation, the original creation. You started out one cell, like Lucy. I done told y'all in the other ones. Go see Lucy. Lucy explains exactly what I'm talking about. How the cell split, and after that, it was no more oneness. So I've been teaching oneness and nothingness for seven eight years or so, more than that. That I knew it was about oneness. I knew that was the original creation and it was only perfect once. And all this melt down and watered down and added to and, and, and diluted and polluted. Ugh. This fungus among us, this virus shit. It's so you don't get back here. It's so you don't find your connection to the source to your, to your immortality and so you don't find your soulmate within yourself because when you find your soulmate within yourself baby you gonna spot that soulmate in this physical realm and you gonna have an abundant beautiful life and y'all finna get this money baby this green and this abundance coming in and it's gonna flow like issues of life running over you think the ancient one had all that gold for nothing they had it because they were complete. They had it because they were the complete ones. They were the chosen ones. So y'all can play this game all you want. I didn't come here to play no game and I don't want to be your friend and I didn't come here to be your friend. I came here to be a service to humanity and a service to others. And as I do that, I become a service to myself. I heal myself and you heal yourself and we heal the whole world because now everybody is with their soul mate and they made it for eternity. So it doesn't matter. I'm not playing the game. I offer so many services. I didn't just take all that down there for nothing. I'm not a just, I, I didn't learn all that for nothing. I ain't been a nurse for 24 years for nothing. 
to study herbs, to know the facts of, of real medicine versus herbs. I had to know the lie before the truth. And that's what y'all fell in to realize, taking that responsibility. Sometimes the lie in contrast come before the truth. And sometimes the truth will come before the lie. And then sometimes it's standing right there in front of your face, like black and white. But we refuse to see it because we want to judge people by their appearance or what they look like or because they got something better than what we feel we got. And that's not the case at all. Your creator gave you something. It's your job to find your gift, your natural talent from your heart desire, not what's doing it because somebody else is doing it. Oh, and that's a quick way to make some money. So let me, let me, let me give you some cards. Ooh, let me do this too. Let me read and study this too. But you have no no damn uh, inkling about helping humanity and what humanity is about or even some knowledge about energy and your energy. So you don't understand yourself in the tarot? I find that very, very uh, disgusting because that's what's wrong with the world. Everybody trying to do something for money and they're not really caring about the people. They're not trying to heal the people. They're not trying to help the people. So, yeah, go on, carry on. Carry on. Because I'm going to carry on doing what I come to do and what I was chosen to do. So, y'all be well. I hope that, you know, uh, enlighten y'all. Like, subscribe, hit the button, share it uh, in the comments, hit that bell. And you know what your girl always say, peace, love, and harmony.